So, suppose you need to connect the center of a rope onto an eye. So, uh, you, can't, you don't have access to the ends of the rope. So, what can you do? I mean, the most simple thing you could possibly do is just, you know, put the center through and tie a knot in it, but that's not really good. Um, the next way around would be maybe, you know, a round turn and two half hitches. There's one, there's one, and I mean, yeah, that'll work, you know. Uh, you can then, you know, maybe run this end through an eye and then you know, pull it tight. But then when you, you put on this one, it's it's sort of opening up the, the knot and pulling on that one. So that's not ideal either. Um, I mean, there are other things you can do by just treating the the bite in the middle of the rope as a as a single line. Um, you can do a a uh, a bowline on a bite like that, and I mean that's better than the round turn and two half hitches, but still you know the the two lines interfere with each other, so it's not ideal. So. What else can you do? Well, there's a nice trick that I recently learned, which is you um, you do a bowline just on the one side. So you take the bite of the rope that you've got, the center, put it through the eye, make your your bowline loop here, go through there, around and back, just like you would if you're making a normal bowline. And there you have it, a bowline with a bite, not a bowline on a bite. Now, you can, um, if you want to make this ultra secure, you can get, make your, your end a bit longer and then follow this line around and through. And then you have the, um, what's called uh, the Yosemite uh, the Yosemite finish to your bowline. So there's the bowline, nice and tight. So let's let's say you also want to you know tighten down a load or something on the other end. So you make a, a you know a sheep shank or some other way of getting a loop in your rope. And there you go. There's a little little sheep shank. Take the end of your rope. Put it through the the loop that you just made. Pull it tight to make sort of a trucker's hitch, like that. And then fasten it down in some sensible way. There you are, a nice tight end here. And now you want to tie something off with the other end of the rope. Then you can do exactly the same thing here. Get a bit of slack there make a, a loop for your for your bowline, put the ends through, round and back. And then again if you like you can do a uh, you can follow this this line through again. Let's see which direction are we going this way around. Like that. And then through here again to make this Yosemite finish for the bowline, nice and snug. There you go. And now you can pull on this one completely independently because these two knots aren't connected to each other directly. There's just a, a loop, a slack loop over here. Now the nice thing about a bowline with a Yosemite finish is it's really easy to undo, even if it's been really, really tightened down. So let's let's take a look at the other end again. Let's say I uh, let's see what I've got to do all of it with. So I can take a uh, make a sort of a marlin spike hitch here. Uh, how's that going to work? Uh, there we go, like that, and then just pull on it with all my strength. Really tighten that down. Oh, this, this 
rope is really, really tight now. As tight as I can get it without a, without a winch. And there we go. Snug down like that. And then you can still easily um, you know, undo it. And this just shakes loose. And this, even though I've really hauled on it with a lot of force, it just falls apart if I undo it. No problem. And it's a really robust, safe knot. And the center of your rope comes free again. So that's how to connect the center of a rope onto an eye. And another reason why you might not want to do a, a round turn and two half hitches is you've got a nice fat rope here and it's taking up the whole of the eye. You can't do a round turn, it's not going to fit there anymore. But you can still very comfortably do your um, Here's the, uh, the bowline, there you go, and again, like before, it's no problem to just get some more slack here, do the bowline, through there, and come round and follow this, this line here, out through the top. Do the Yosemite finish, and that is not going anywhere. That's a solid knot, but also easy to undo. There you go. And if you're just making a simple bowline this way, it's really quick. Go through, loop, up. Round and through and done. Quite safe. Well, that's that.